So let's copy the following components, which is the Titanic test, uh, the execute Python script, which is critical, and then the select columns in the data. And rest of the components, we did not change anything. I'm just going to select it. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go back to the test experiment that we had created yesterday. And we will use the same experiment that um, So an interesting feature, like you could see a view of the experiment and uh, that helps you to select the right experiment. So I'm going to select the right test experiment here. Yeah, for the time being, let's ignore the web service inputs and outputs. Okay, and I'm, what I'm going to do is essentially copy paste this um, components. And um, so for some reason, the test data set did not get copied. So no mind, what we are going to do is we, we do have um, the, okay, so we do have the test data set already here. So we don't have to copy it. So the one thing that we need to include here is the Titanic train, correct? So remember, this is a test experiment, correct? And we, and um, so what we are going to do is we're going to copy Titanic train. And a couple of changes that we need to reflect on the script before we start moving forward and I'll let you know what we need to do. And um, so we are going to remove this, uh, or let's just retain it at this point in time. Let's see what kind of changes that we need to reflect in the execute Python script. And um, if you remember in the context of train, our return data point should be train. Whereas in the context of test, our return data point should be test and not the train so <clears throat> so we are going to do the same thing as earlier we passed in the two parameters and um, essentially we're going to do the exact same thing that we did earlier the only difference that we are going to reflect is we are going to pick only those who whose survival status we updated as minus one and essentially, we're going to get rid of this data point. Um, we, we, going, we, are, we are going to drop this data point. Correct? We don't really need this data point. And uh, we, we have the luxury of doing it in the select columns in the data set. So what I have done is I have essentially retained the entire script. The only difference that I'm doing here is I'm going to select only those data points where survived is equal to minus one because we essentially want to get only the test data points and that's what we have done here. So I'm going to rerun um, this component, correct? And it is going to run um, the components dependent on that particular component. So let's go ahead and look at the changes and um, you should be able to see that there are 418 data points and uh, we have also removed survived correct which is a, which is an artificially introduced data point and ideally we should not have survived as a data point appearing in the test now there are two ways to handle it okay so you could either use select columns as a component to remove the survived data point or you could drop that column in the script itself and um, just to verify the test data set as well, we have 418 data points and that's exactly what we are looking at, correct? So, so whatever changes that we did in script in terms of uh, uh, plugging in the missing values for the uh, train and the test, and then the final return value is going to be the test and not the train in the context of a test experiment. So, and then what we could do is we could just pass on the output of select columns in the data set to the clean missing data. And we could remove these uh, unnecessary components that are here because th these components are, uh, are of no use at this point in time. So now that we are done with the first change, we need to do a few more changes. And um, as you can see, when I ran the entire workflow, it gave me an error. Uh, then I realized that I missed a few more changes. So in the edit metadata, if you remember, we need to include title as well. And um, that was a new data point that we included as part of our exercise. Not only here, and um, then we need to run this particular component. 
so that the title flows into the convert indicator values and in turn once it runs we will uh, include title into the convert indicator values right and um, there you go so we will include title uh, into the indicator values and then we are going to rerun the entire workflow and uh, hopefully during this time it will not fail now if you observe when i rerun the workflow it threw me an error and you could find the type of the error by clicking on this red button and uh, as you can see it is expecting certain features which were part of the training data set now interestingly these features are not part of the test data set now the reason one of the reasons being there are no passengers who are traveling with this particular title so that's a challenge here and we need to kind of resolve this particular challenge uh, we either need to combine some of those titles to make sure that all the titles which are present in the train are also present in the test which will make sure that the model can be successfully applied so this is a very good lesson where we are apply, trying to apply a model which is which has a certain set of features whereas your test data set doesn't have those features in which case it is not going to be able to apply that model on the test data simply because it is expecting those features to be present as part of the data set and hence there is a need for us to go and correct that particular error so the strategy that we are going to use to to overcome this particular problem is to reduce the number of titles so we will have four different titles put together one is mr one is miss one is mrs uh, one is master and rest of them we are going to collapse into one of these so we are going to make sure that all the um, all the titles which reflect lady correct which reflect a lady passenger or a female passenger will be collapsed to a miss and uh, all the male passengers who are not masters will be collapsed to mr so that we can reduce the number of titles that we need to play with the one of the reasons that we had this issue is because there was an inconsistent data set between the train and the title and we didn't uh, we didn't pay much attention to the uh, the, the title list in the test uh, when compared to the train and hence when we were um, uh, deploying this model on the test data set it started to complain hey i am not able to see features like title captain in the in the test because there is no passenger with the title captain in the test hence the way to reduce is to reduce the number of titles that we have in our data set so let's get a view of the number of passengers who do have a title other than mr and master so let's check on passengers who are male and who do not have a title master or who do not have a title mister and when we execute this particular command you can see that there are about 20 odd uh, passengers who have um, the title which is different from mister and master now what we are essentially going to do is we are going to replace these titles with mister and uh, the same holds good for the female passengers as well so in this case we I want to find out how many passengers are female and um, who have uh, who do not have a title misses or do not have a title miss and um, let's find the count of these particular data point correct and let's see how many rows are going to be or how many passengers are we going to transform and um, there you go there are only seven passengers so in totality we are going to transform 27 passengers 20 males and seven female passengers 20 male passengers are going to be reflected as mister and seven female passengers are going to be reflected as miss and let's go ahead and execute that particular change let's copy this entire uh, command here excluding the count and i'm going to add a new row and I'm going to use the same operation that we did earlier to to update the age and I'm going to say lock and I'm going to say I want to update the title and I'm going to say update the title to mister so once we do that it's got executed and let's see how many titles do we find 
zero, which is exactly what we are looking for. So this statement has to be copied back into our experiment uh, and, and we need to make sure that it is part of the script. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to do a similar thing with the female passengers as well. So I'm going to copy the statement here and I'm going to say update it. I'm going to use the lock and I'm going to say update title to miss. There you go and let's find out the count. So there are zero passengers. So these two data points or these two updates that we need to reflect it back into the execute Python script. And the way we are going to do is we're just going to copy paste these two commands. So we are essentially not change the variable name and that's the advantage. Uh, if you don't change the variable name, you can simply copy paste else there's going to be um, a lot of problem if you make a simple spelling mistake. And um, as I said, the script window is definitely not a window where you would want to do your debugging. And then I'm just going to copy these two statements so that I can plug it back into the test experiment. And I'm going to run this experiment to see if we do not encounter any errors. Now, as you can see here, the train experiment has successfully run and you could also check the indicator values to see the data points. And um, as you can see here, there are only four titles, Mr. M Master, Mr. and Mrs. And um, the data is distributed in one of those data points. Correct? And what we need to do is, since we have already run this particular experiment, we're going to save it as a train model again. And um, going to save it as a train model. And we're going to overwrite the model that we did earlier. And um, we, would, we would say, um, re-evaluated the titles. And there you go. So we have essentially save this model and in order for us to kind of make sure we our test experiment also works we need to copy these two statements back into the test experiment and um, there you go and let's go quickly to the test experiment where we found out the inconsistency and then what we are going to do is we are going to plug in these two data points here the statements here correct and um, there you go so I plugged in the data points and I'm going to rerun this particular experiment and hopefully at this point in time we are not going to have any more errors during the deployment of the model so having plugged in those statements in the execute Python script, let's rerun that workflow. And uh, as you can see, the workflow has successfully been run. And uh, you could see that in the indicator values, you will find the four titles that which we configured. And it always pays to reduce the number of categories. Um, so one of the reasons that we did not do it initially is we wanted to go and explore how that affects the modeling process. And as you can see here, um, if we do not pay much attention to the test data set, correct? and there could be certain data points which are missing from the train or which are missing from the test, in which case your model will be incomplete. Correct? In this particular instance, there are no passengers with certain titles who are traveling the Titanic in the test data set. And when we are applying, when we were applying the model on the test data set, it threw an error because there were certain features which the model was expecting to be there in the test, which was not there. And hence, it threw an error. And hence, we have to go back, revisit the training experiment, make sure the titles are in the proper order. And then we saved the model and came back and redeployed the model onto the test data. And there you go. So you now the model works perfectly fine. Now what you could do is as a next step is you could take the data from here, which uh, is nothing but the list of passengers and their scored labels, which reflects the 
um, which reflects the survival status. You could take, you could download the data point from convert to CSV by right clicking and saying um, download this particular data point and then upload the CSV file after renaming the columns as uh, passenger ID and survived and uploading it to the Kaggle environment to see how you have fared in the modeling process. I'm sure you will get a better score uh, as compared to the earlier run.